Okay, go ahead. Okay. Hold on. Thanks for making this. Literally, my mouth stopped working literally like this. Fine, I just started to freeze as you're now. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's your name again? Bo. Bo. Nice to meet you. Great to meet you. Thanks for making the time for us. So tell me what we're going to talk about first, just so I have an idea. Yeah, I have three questions. Um, Number one is just, you've only been in Pittsburgh a few hours today, but just, you know, the elements you've seen, what what, if anything has been remarkable to you or surprising? Um, number two, how do we not become desensitized as journalists and as a country when we yep. cover these monthly, weekly? Yep. And number three, what kind of elements can our viewers at WTA expect from World News as right. they, uh, you know, yeah. And good. I can use your name, right? Yeah, you'll, you'll yeah that'd be great. Okay, great. Cool. All right, check. And good. It's the Soldiers and Sailors Memorial. That's what's, what it's called yes. here. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good, John. Good. Okay. All right, David, once again, thanks for making the time for us. Um, You've been in Pittsburgh here today, um, and what, if anything, has surprised you the most uh, in the wake of this tragedy? Well, we're always sensitive when we sort of parachute into any of these tragedies, and I always feel so badly because we recognize that we leave after a few days, uh, but everyone else has to live with the pain and try to heal from all of this. And I was struck uh, over at the Soldiers and Sailors Memorial today. We were there as the vigil was uh, getting ready to, to begin, and people were, were coming up the stairs. And I didn't have to ask to talk to anyone here in Pittsburgh. They walked up to me. And I was struck that so many people wanted to, wanted to say that this is not Pittsburgh. This isn't Squirrel Hill. Um, we are better than this. We are united. Um, and there were people of all faiths, all walks of life, who came to that vigil. And I think it speaks volumes about this community. How would you say that we as journalists, but also as a country, make sure we do not become desensitized to events like this whenever it's seemingly we're seeing them monthly, if, if not weekly now? I get asked that a lot, you know, in airports and in towns across the country. Do you, are you desensitized from all of this? And I never am. You know, I think it's, uh, I think we're all human. And when we come to communities like this, and I can tell from just being here today in Squirrel Hill that this is probably one of the most tolerant communities, uh, not only in this country, but in, in the Pittsburgh area, everyone celebrates Squirrel Hill. That's what everyone was telling me today. Um, and, you know, I was in a couple of places that had the Steelers game on. And, uh, you know, people would walk up to me and say, thanks for coming to this town and telling people that this is not what Squirrel Hill is and not what Pittsburgh stands for. So I think as long as you surround yourself with like-minded uh, people, and when I say that, I don't mean politics. I just mean people who look out for one another, who care about one another, uh, and that, that keeps you from being desensitized um, in any of these tragedies, in particular the one that we're dealing with right here. So, you know, as, as you cover this, as, as World News is here in Pittsburgh, what, what can our viewers expect? I think we have to keep asking, you know, these are very difficult questions when something like this happens, and we have to make sure that we, that we press, you know, our elected officials on, on what are we going to do? you know, to make sure that this doesn't happen again. And, you know, the president talked about having more security inside the synagogue, that maybe had there been more security, the results would have been better. I think those were the words that he used. And I know that right here in Pittsburgh, there was a strong response to that. People people felt very strongly when they heard that, some saying, what are we supposed to do, arm ourselves 24-7? And I think, you know, that's not anyone being facetious. That's a real question because this is becoming far too commonplace. And I, I think that people don't want communities that are, you know, armed to the hilt to protect yourself. Uh, certainly not on a Saturday morning. I know the synagogue has uh, security from time to time for some of the bigger events, uh, but not on a typical Saturday morning and not just before, you know, a, a baby naming ceremony. And, and it would be hard to imagine a, a time when we would have to be um, armed and in and, 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 and places that are secured 24-7 all the time. I mean, that, that, then we'd be heading into a very uh, difficult direction in this country.